Hey guys, Michael here, and I'm back to talk bricks. Today we're talking the Lego Batman movie and the latest trailer breakdown, plus a couple bonus trailers. New year, new giveaway. Stay tuned for more formal details, but for now, just comment and subscribe and you could win a prize. This latest trailer kicks off with Robin looking at the Wayne family photos. In this movie, Dick Grayson will have been adopted by Bruce Wayne, so he's never really had family photos like this of his own. As we've seen in trailers before, Alfred is encouraging Batman to get involved, and he makes a funny joke that Dick Grayson should be taken under his wing. But Batman clearly isn't having any of it. Batman doesn't really want a son. In the next sequence when Barbara surprises Batman, she asks him if Robin is his son, and he quickly turns that down. But she does point out to him that it would be a little bit weird if Batman were running about the city with a boy that wasn't his son. And it definitely seems like Robin is cramping Batman's style a bit. For as we all know, Batman usually likes to work alone. And it's Alfred who points out that Batman is afraid of being part of a family again, as we see Batman longingly looking at the family photo that Robin was looking at earlier, which is a photo from the night his parents were killed. And Batman definitely has his walls up against being part of a family again. And he even goes on the offensive when Robin reaches over to give Batman a big hug. Interestingly, in this shot, we can see some snow on the ground and the building built up at angles, which leads me to believe this might be the entrance to the Fortress of Solitude. And without trying to give too much away, on the ground here of this shot, we can see the gun that came in the Arkham Asylum set. So this device might play a very important part in the movie. The final moment of the movie happens very quickly, but it reveals a few more bat tuxedos. Here we can see a lime green one, what seems to be a yellow vest, this blue and black striped one, with Alfred holding up a mirror so that Batman can check out how he looks. And then finally, the white tuxedo that we've seen many times before. And as this sequence concludes, we can see him pop into the limo. So this sequence takes place right before the limo sequence that we've seen in some of the other trailers, where he pulls off the cowl. And it's clear from this short clip that this may be part of the tuxedo trying on scene that we heard about from Entertainment Weekly. And on to the bonus trailers. The first trailer is a really quick sequence for New Year's. In this sequence, we can see Bruce Wayne giving a cheers with fireworks in the background. And as he smiles towards the camera, we can see a swirling motion with some Lego pieces to change him into Batman himself. This was all meant to coincide with a Snapchat lens for the Lego Batman movie that they had on New Year's Eve, which allowed you yourself to change from Bruce Wayne to Batman. And throughout this whole trailer, Robin is freaking out and there's just too many hilarious Robin screenshots to grab. In case you thought this sequence looked a bit familiar, I definitely agree and think it's meant to be a spoof of The Great Gatsby, where Leonardo DiCaprio turns to the camera with a toast in the exact same way. The next bonus trailer, I Am Batman, showed Batman showing off some of his recent selfies. Of all of the various selfies that he shows off, my favorite one would definitely have to be the one with Superman and Wonder Woman as they pose together. This mini trailer concludes with Batman taking another selfie of himself, but this time with the theater audience. And in typical Batman fashion, he looks great and everyone else just looks okay. The final trailer is actually a commercial. It's meant to paint a picture of a stormy night where the internet gets knocked out of service. But there's only one guy who can save the day. We see this funny suiting up sequence where a belt gets put on, some rope gets pulled off the wall, and of course, Batman is happy to swoop in to save the day. And as he stands here triumphantly in the rain, it's revealed to us the real heroes in this scene, which is the Sky Broadband Team. Yes, this is a bit of product placement for this internet company, and Batman is not happy that he's not the hero. And as the Sky Team does their job, Batman, of course, is getting in the way, trying to help. If you're wondering when we'll see this in the movie, I would highly doubt any of this makes it into the film. Lots of animated movies like Cars and other ones have had these sorts of product integrations before. But it's always funny to see this type of content, and it's a great way to do a cross-promotion with the movie. So nothing too groundbreaking in any of these trailers, but it's always great to get even more footage, as I slowly feel like I'm starting to piece together the main story for the movie. 
And as we get closer and closer to the movie, they will reveal even more footage, but they won't try to reveal too much because they definitely want you to be surprised when you make it to the movies. I've definitely said it before and I'll say it again, February 10th can't come soon enough as my excitement is reaching a boiling point. But definitely let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. What did you think about all these trailers and how excited are you guys? And don't forget, your comment enters you for the giveaway. You must be a subscriber to win and definitely turn on notifications to find out when my next video is posted because I'll be announcing the winners at the end of some of the videos. And if you like what you saw here, don't forget to leave me a thumbs up down below and subscribe to make sure you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. That's all the time you've got for today. Thanks and have a good one. Hey guys, Michael here. Check out my review of Clayface Splat Attack and don't forget to subscribe.